Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. What happened to your voice? I went to a convention. <laughs> that was my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I stole it. The viewers know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what really happened? Did you get some kind of virus? Or yeah, you know, I couldn't record that last week because I was really sick. Yeah, I remember you saying you were sick, yeah. and so I was sick over the weekend, really bad too. And I was wondering if we had the same thing, but it didn't yeah. sound like. Well, and then I got better finally on Sunday, and then Sunday night I lost my voice. <laughs> Oh, so what was your sickness last week? I like the flu or something. It was like whatever this flu is that's going around. That's what I had. It was it was rough. like the like cold symptoms style yeah. flu or because it's weird. People call flu different things. And I'm tired. I'm kind of tired of it. So like I had a stomach virus. Me and my daughter had a stomach virus. So we were puking our guts out and shitting everywhere. And people were like, must be that stomach flu. And I'm like, everyone was like, you got the flu. And I'm like, no, I mean, every time I've ever had the flu, it's like I'm shivery and I'm kind of the fever. And I'm, I mean, actually, I've never had the flu. Well, my daughter had the flu, uh, shivery and cold and all this. So like, no, I mean the stomach flu. And I'm like, like a stomach virus, like same thing. And so to me, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I mean, what, what's, so what's, what's well, so what I had was what you would describe as the flu. It was the first symptom of it I had, I woke up and I was just shivering and could not get warm. And right. throughout the next couple of days, it was just constant shivering. And then when I would take like ibuprofen, I would get super hot, like obviously like feverish. And then I would take ibuprofen or Tylenol and I'd break the right. sweat. Your fever and, would break. Yeah, yeah. And then it'd come yeah. back the next you know, a couple hours later. Like it was, it was really rough. Right. Um, I mean, if you're talking about a virus, a lot of people just like the flu is a virus and Sure. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I've heard people talk. But that's about, like you know, saying whenever you're like ordering a damn soda, and they're like, "You're like a Coke." They're like, "What kind? You well, want a Dr Pepper?" I mean, are you saying it's only like people in Tennessee who do this? <laughs> I mean, but you got against people in Tennessee, good. <laughs> I mean, it's the same kind of thing to me, though. Where it's like you're putting, you're making things up. You're not. You're, <laughs> you're, you're making, you're making it up. It's not real. <laughs> It is. It's a fake, fake flu. Like fake news flu. The fake news flu. Um, but I mean, I, I mean, what, what, what do you think you had? Food poisoning? Or uh, so I went to, we ended up going flu? to urgent care. Uh, we ended up going to urgent care because I, I didn't know if it was food poisoning or what. My daughter was puking just nonstop. And um, so was I. And so we started at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, she woke up. and was like, I'm getting out of bed. And I was like, all right. Because uh, on the weekends, she sleeps in my bed. Um, <coughs> and I'm like, sure. And when she woke me up to say that, I was like, I was getting, you know, getting going to get up to to start making breakfast and stuff. And I'm sitting there in the bed. And I'm like, mm, man, I don't, I don't feel so hot. Um, and I'm laying there for a second and then she comes back in the room and says, my stomach hurts. So I'm like, yeah, maybe we're just hungry. But I was like, I, you know, I didn't normally, I don't, I'm not that hungry in the mornings. So I sit there for a few more minutes and then my cheeks start hurting in a way that indicates throw up. I haven't felt it in years. Um, but like, I have a weird, I have a trigger that I know I'm going to puke. There's no question. This is, you are going to puke now, Jason, make your way to the place. Um, and that happened. And I was like, oh no, get out of the way. And like, I got up and started puking everywhere. Um, and uh and so she was like well i'm still hungry and i'm like i don't think you are i think you're you're, you're gonna be sick um and then a few minutes later she threw up too um and so we spent the day we were puking until uh, sometime in the afternoon and then i finally was like you know let's see if we can keep any liquids down i started to be able to keep liquids down um but she still wasn't um she thought she what well, we thought she was and like i gave her a little bit of soup and she threw that. Well, she, she she kept the soup down, but she was like, "I'm still feeling so bad. I'm gonna die and all this." I was like, "All right, let's go to urgent care." Um, and when we get to urgent care, she threw up in the parking lot the soup that she had ate. Um, and so they said it was just a, a virus. Um, but I was so dehydrated they forced me on an IV. Actually, <laughs> no, goddamn it. Uh, he's a stomach virus, basically. Um, he said he didn't think it was uh, food poisoning. Uh, like they took blood, and for me, while I sat there, <laughs> they. Um, you know, they did the just the normal test. They did test for the flu and all that stuff with your nose and all that just to, just because while while we were there, sort of thing. I think um, that was, they that gave was us nausea. Negative. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, they gave us nausea medicine, that stuff that dissolves under your tongue and all that. But I was so dehydrated, they wouldn't let me leave. They made me take an IV for what, an hour. What was your uh, pulse? Uh, one thirty nine. Well, I, yep, they're not gonna let you leave. I still left with it. It didn't go down. It went down to 133 over the hour that I took the IV. And they were like, it's still real high. And they're like, but I guess you can go. You're like, peace uh, out, bitches. <laughs> yeah, it was 133 when I left. 
but my blood pressure had gotten a little bit better. My blood pressure was pretty wild as well. I don't remember the exact numbers on that. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I didn't go seek help. I just, I knew I was sick and I was. Right. I, I was. I mean, I wasn't going to go for us either. I figured. Because normally when there's stomach type viruses, it's like a 24 hour type of thing. That or food poison. Either way, it's normally a pretty quick thing and you're better. Um, but whenever she was just like, I'm dying, I was like, all right, we'll go. I'm glad we did too, because, you know, the anti nausea medicine does help. Well, yeah, and I, I took off like Thursday from work uh, because I was so sick. And then Friday, I said I was going to work from home. And it was funny because I got up at like eight and started working, doing a couple of emails, and I felt okay. And. I had a meeting that was supposed to be at noon and about 10 to 30, I could no longer keep my eyes open <laughs> and I passed out and woke up at 1230 and looked and I was like, well, I guess I don't need to go on this call. I'll just have to jump on my two o'clock call. I need to be on that one. And I woke up at about two and I was like, I can't physically keep my eyes open still. Like I was so <laughs> tired that I just could wow. not stay awake. <laughs> Excuse me. And then it turns out that there was a bunch of uh, meetings that ended up canceling because so many people were out sick. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's what everyone kept saying when, you know, for us. They were like, everyone's got the flu. Um, the stomach like, flu. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. The... Damn it. So it, it triggers me. It does. It's like, it's not the same. I mean, I understand that people call it a stomach flu, but like, I don't know. We got to need some differentiation, differentiation here, people. Like,. The there's, stomach there's flu a... and the chest flu and the the head flu, the head flu. <laughs> and... uh, uh. But yeah, they couldn't uh, they couldn't find my veins because I was so dehydrated, and she wanted to draw blood too, and so she kept like poking around in me, and it was awful. They finally get it, obviously. Yeah, yeah she got it in my hand, but then she was like, "I don't know if I got enough because it won't come out." Um, she's like, "I might come back in a few minutes." Thankfully, I never saw that woman again. Um, because <laughs> I was like, man, I hope she doesn't have to come back for more. Well, I mean, honestly, what are they really testing for? <laughs> the well, yeah, he was like, he's like, you know, so we're <laughs> gonna keep you here for an hour to get an IV, anyways. Might as well run some blood tests. Yeah, um, yeah, like that. That's were not the important piece. It wasn't, you know, right? Like not gonna, you know, if I don't get a influ, like because the influenza test is, you know, the the swab, and then otherwise, you know, what the hell are they looking at? Yeah. Right. Yeah, all he got from the blood test, he's like, well, your testosterone's high. Do you take anything for that? And I'm like, no. And he's like, oh, well, see your doctor. Your testosterone is high? Uh, that's what he said. I wonder why they were testing your test. Like, why did they test your testosterone? I don't know. I don't know what they test when they test your blood. Because um, he said he wanted to check the, like, red and white blood counts. Um, he said yeah, the, red, so it, the red count was slightly high. That's but, what it uh, is. That, that, I'm sick anyways. A testosterone. I don't think it. Yeah, I don't recall a testosterone being part of a standard CPC. I have no, I mean, I don't know anything about what they test for. That's just, I'm literally just repeating what he said to me. All I can think, in fact, I said to him, I was like, well, that explains why my, all my hair's falling out. And my muscles are so big. Yes. And, and my this penis explains is so why small. I'm so I mean, ripped. Yeah. <laughs> I tell that to the ladies too, Doc. <laughs> uh,. Are you going to sleep? I'm trying. I'm heading up to the top because I need for one a new pick. But yeah, now that it's time, I'm gonna go to sleep when I get up there. Okay. Um, get out here and go to sleep. Um. So I've been watching on Netflix. Um. The I think it's I don't it's not a Netflix original series. It's some one of those ones they bought from somebody. Um. But it's called Travel Solved. <laughs> No, um, <laughs> it's called Unsolved. Uh, the 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 story of uh, Biggie and Tupac murder murders. Okay. Um, and it's a it's not a documentary. It's a dramatization. Um, based on fact, basically. Okay. Based on the known facts, and it's been really really good. I've enjoyed it. I mean, I've watched the whole ten episodes in the last two days. Um, and it was really good. I liked it a whole whole lot. Um. So, yeah. yeah, you still don't watch the last season of Travelers. I still have not. You know, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's it's one of those shows that's so long that like I'm I'm really I feel like I got a big commitment to make uh, to watch it all. 
like uh, the, I was thinking today, like, what am I going to watch now that this is over? And you know what? Travelers did not even come to mind. Well, that's sad. Uh, I was, was, I don't, I don't know why. I'm curious what uh, your take on the ending is. I know. I need to. I need to give it a shot. Um, <coughs> the thing, the thing that came to mind actually was Milby's been talking about this flat Earth. Uh, oh yeah, like, you know what's so funny? I started watching that the other day. Was it good? Um, behind the curve or something like that is called, or beyond I, the curve. Um, I, I, I started watching it. it. It's it's interesting. It's about Mike Sargent. Who the hell is Mike? Sargent? I guess he's like one of the main like guys. That? One of the main guys who popularized the flat Earth movement. I don't know. Really? Yeah. I always wonder how these things get started. Was he famous or something? How was he influential, influential um, enough to create this well, many idiots? Y- you know, the one thing that I like about what I've seen of it so far is he talks about how every flat earther that exists, pretty much, unless they're lying to you, has become a flat earther because they were basically out to disprove the flat earth. Like, do some research and disprove it because they thought people talking about the Flat Earth were ridiculous and idiotic. And then they got sucked in and realized it was true. Which How does that happen to these people? Well, which, which at least he's not like, oh, you know, everybody just knows that the government's always been, you know, lying to us. He's basically saying that it's when you do research, trying to disprove the thing is when you're going to realize it's true. So, it, like, it gives him a little more, like credit in my book but not obviously for a flat earth model i think that's fucking ridiculous it's right but yeah so far so far it's entertaining um but it's just a a single documentary it's not like a series or anything yeah yeah man i wish that this tupac thing had been like so they got every damn actor that i've ever loved basically from every crime tv drama in the world like all together like whoever did the casting on this show like deserves fucking awards or something like you ever watched the wire <laughs> no i've never seen the wire but oh man it's such a good show i would really recommend the wire if you ever get a chance to the the first season is a little hard sometimes whenever you first start out i've tried to rewatch it in fact and i know it gets really damn like the best show ever almost um i would put it second to six feet under um but sometimes when i'm watching the first season i'm always like man this shit's slow as hell um but uh the wire is really good, and they basically half the Tim wire cast is in this Tupac thing, um, or Biggie, or both. I don't know. I don't know who, who to really credit it with. It's really interesting. Watch. I mean, I don't know. Like I've tried to read about their murders more since I watched this. Um, and again, I just finished it today, so I spent a few hours afterwards reading. Um, and I remember all this from you know whenever we were we were because we were growing up whenever this all went down. Um, but uh, there's so much of it I'd forgotten and stuff, and like how. Uh, Biggie and Tupac met and just like how they were friends and how they turned enemies and why they turned enemies and all this stuff like watching it in this drama <coughs> it's like man this all could have been so easily avoided and both of them kind of realized at a point but I didn't realize like how Tupac had gone to prison over a rape allegation that like were these two guys that were friends with Biggie and like after the fact, like at a party, they're still hanging out with Biggie and they were the ones that had actually done the rape according to the show. And like, I don't even know. It's like some, some damn made for lifetime drama shit. It's good. Made for Netflix. <laughs> but, shit. but but it's real life. That's the worst part. It's a made for Netflix, real life shit that you watched because it's on Netflix. Yes. basically, <laughs> It wasn't made for Netflix. At least I think it was a USA production. Um, that Netflix has, has gotten the rights to or whatever. But I will. Uh, it's very good. I will tell you the one thing that I'm upset with is I was trying to do some Googling to find out when my favorite shows are coming back, and uh, they fucking canceled Wrecked. What the hell was Wrecked? Wrecked was that one I told you that you would love. It's like the, not a spoof per se, but it was Lost, but not Lost. Like a comedy oh, version of yeah. Lost. Oh, yeah. Damn, I guess a lot of people watched it. Three, part seas- of the problem. three seasons of it that were the, some of the greatest television in modern history. And <laughs> You're putting a lot on it. I mean, I, I'm not going to argue because I haven't seen it. was that fucking good, man. It was wow. that good. Why did they cancel it then? I don't know. They t- Why did they cancel Travelers? It was... <laughs> well, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I, I would have been fine if there wasn't a season three of Travelers. Uh, you'll you'll be fine that there's not a season four because it actually ends with some closure. I was fine with the closure they gave us in season two, honestly. I mean, it wasn't really closure, but it was enough of an ending that if they hadn't done a three, <laughs> I'd have been like, all right. And I guess you know that's probably probably 
part of why I'm not super like antsy about going and watching three is I, I guess I got that closure to some degree. But you know, um, but you don't have that closure. You've been asking since the end of season two, like how the fuck are they going to explain this away? It doesn't even make sense. Like they're they're out sure, like, gonna if they're this? gonna yeah. I mean, it, but that was more from a standpoint of they don't put themselves in a goddamn hole. Are they really going to try to make more of this show? And so now that they have, like, I mean, yeah, I do kind of want to know how they explain it away, sure. But also, I guess it's a twofold thing. Knowing that it's canceled now, too, it's like, and I could just go on thinking that season two was the end, and I'd be fine there. <laughs> do I need to get reinvested? Because it's going to be in. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to watch it. I'm not saying I'm not going to watch it, but there's uh, these, these are my explanations for why, I guess, mentally it's not like an eager thing. It's like it ain't going nowhere. And it ain't coming back, so it ain't like I, I don't watch back. it now. Yeah, it ain't coming back. Up. That's right. Well, maybe that in like 15 years. That's like the thing, right? right. I'll be dead then. <laughs> well, hopefully not in 15 years. <laughs> if, historically, if I follow the, the footsteps of the rest of my family. Uh, the, yeah, the, but you're, also, you're a new leaf. New leaf? New, new leaf. Isn't that a Zelda game? Uh... Breath of the Wild. You're a Breath of the Wild. <laughs> the Breath of the Wild. Yes. You're a link to oh, the past. <laughs> uh, I guess that's true for all of us. That we're a link to the past? <laughs> kind of. We're like, you know, parts of our ancestors combined. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. We are definitely parts of our ancestors combined. A link to the past. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I've been uh, going through these. Go ahead, you go uh, ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say that I'm I'm waiting for that next show that I'm going to really fall in love with that lasts a long enough time to make it like matter. I mean, that's the thing about television now. Is it's <coughs> oh my god, I'm like dying. Like, have you ever been into sitcoms? Like, has there ever been a sitcom that's that's gotten you, like a Frasier or um, a Friends or any of those? So. I, uh, my problem with long running sitcoms is I will start watching some and I will get really into them, but I won't continue. Like I'll, I will tell you friends. I used to like friends back in the day. Never saw the ending. Never saw the last multiple seasons because I got bored with it at the time. Never went yeah. back and watched it either since it's been out to even know, like I know what happens at the end because it was such like a, you know, a staple of our generation that right, I just right. know what happened. Um, Big Bang watch Theory. Watch VH1 and they'll tell you what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Big Bang Theory. I really like Big Bang Theory. I watched, uh, not when it started, but probably when season three or so was out. I got caught up in it all. Watched it pretty religiously for a couple of years and then haven't watched it in about four years. I know it's coming up on um, ending soon, like a finale. And it's like one of the most popular sitcoms that exists. And I haven't watched it in four years. Um, I got more into things like, you know, House. I got really into House for a while, but again, didn't watch the last couple seasons of House, so I have no idea really? how that one even ends. See, House is one I watch every <laughs> single. I own all the DVDs and I've seen it all. Um, Friends, not so much. Friends is one of those ones where if an episode's on, I'll watch it, but I don't. I probably haven't. I don't. In fact, I know I haven't seen them all. Um, Futurama. I'm super into. I've seen every single one of those multiple times. But right, yeah, I remember you telling me that. Yes, yeah, see, I didn't. That that one's not on the opposite of that. I've Simpsons, Futurama. Even I mean, for a long time, I was always caught up on South Park, but I've I've fallen off on South Park, and I don't know. The Are they last even making new South Parks right now? See, that's the thing I don't even know. I don't even I, know either. For all I know, they could be. They couldn't be. I remember they got renewed, and I remember Matt and Trey were like, "Uh, <laughs> uh so I don't know." Um, I have no idea. Um, Rick and Morty's one I'm caught up on, but I think they've only done two seasons, so it's not ne really that hard. never seen it yet, and I've been told that I would really like it. And have it not it's seen good, it but it's also got this following of people that make you hate it. I <laughs> the community around the that. show is awful, <sighs> so it's one of those hard things to love because you don't want to be associated with the community. It's like I like it, but I don't like telling people. Basically. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what other sitcoms like. I mean, back in the day when I was a kid, Full House, Family Matters, but I could never tell you that I saw all of them. Yeah, I just saw no, them when they were on TG, TGIF. Man, it was like the right. thing. The thing you did as a kid was was great. Oh, did you hear the news about the chick from Full House? <clears throat> uh -huh. I think it was. Uh, I think it's the uh, Uncle Jesse's wife. I don't remember Rebecca. Was that her name? 
sure. Um, either way, she uh, she and some other uh, Hollywood celebrity just got like caught and charged with the fact that they've set up this like false fun thing that pretended kids were to get them like kids and stuff. Basically, there was a scam to get kids athletic scholarships to get into like really high class institutions because they were celebrities. I saw a headline on Reddit that said something about CEOs and actresses caught up in a yeah. uh, scholarship ring, yep. and I didn't click on it. Um, so she was involved in that. Yeah, she was involved in that. And uh, so were they basically paying? What was what's what's the gist? Like somebody was. I, I don't know an, uh, everything about it, but I know that there was like one instance. It was talking about that. You know, it was this front that you could pay somebody to go take your ACTs for you, and uh, one guy like paid fifteen thousand dollars for this other dude to go take his ACTs for him. Like I think a grown ass adult or something like that. And then I they mean, were isn't bro- that a common thing that happens? Probably, but it was all set up through this like gifted program or something that they started that was a way of saying you pay us and we will make sure your kid gets into this high society like college but it was all right, through man. like shitty scammy means wow you know i could be that's getting rough. that completely wrong but whatever you know yeah no that's what people say about you <laughs> that is true somebody did tell me i was autistic because i didn't understand the uh um, Stephen Colbert thing. Wow. Yeah. That's a, that's thought, a pretty that wild pretty, claim to I make. That was pretty interesting. Apparently that makes me autistic. I, I, I don't think that that's enough data to go on. Yep. <laughs> wow. Th- maybe they're autistic. Maybe autistic is not a word you should use to negatively speak about someone it's also. <laughs> possibly true. It was very strange. <laughs> But I was like, okay, I've now heard it all. I never really thought somebody would tell me I was autistic in the comments, but there, there we go. God, I had a guy go all on. I'm getting uh, to bed. The comments. By the way. Okay, I'm going to the bed. Um, about uh the um, the books about Squee and uh, and all his f- friends and the calendars and all that stuff. Um, this guy was very angry at us, Squee. and he left. He left a, a whole very long letter. And I deleted it without like, reading it. Was it like an A? Just A. Ah! No, it was. I cannot believe that you were the kind of guy that would blah, 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 blah. Just on and on and but on. And I don't on remember on. what we talk about. I don't even remember how we offend people anymore. Like, oh, we no, offended it's... somebody so bad to the point where he wrote a strongly worded letter. I have no idea what the fuck we even talked about. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was about uh, Brett Kavanaugh and his um, his his calendars. Oh, 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 oh yes, oh. yes, yes. Okay, the guy was going on and on about how he only kept those calendars because he was trying to remember his dad was dead. And it's very, very offensive that you would not be you would not be okay with his dead dad. And so, and so, do you not know what the the long thing even says? Wow, there's a lot. Uh, of someone here. posted in Reddit. I hadn't, I hadn't read the comments because I released. I'm actually caught up with you. I released my video same time as you. Um, wow. I'm a real. I'm a. I'm a real boy. Um, and uh, so I hadn't read the comments because I'd released so many videos all in the same the same time period, basically to get caught up. Uh, so yeah. Um, but someone posted in Reddit was like, "Look what this guy had to say," and I was like, "Man, that guy should not should not have anything to say ever again." And so I went <laughs> and moved his ability to comment. <laughs> Uh, just so everyone knows out there, comments are not free speech. <laughs> Kind Comments are regulated by the, the channel owner. <laughs> At any point, your ability to comment may be removed. But feel free to speak your mind. Just sometimes, you know, if you go a little overboard, we don't have to talk anymore. <laughs> uh, hey, good. Come, but, take, um, come take a look down here. I'm, I'm down here. I see it, man. You're it's, flat. It's, it's crazy. It's flat. It we got, is. means we got a couple layers to go, but yeah, it's not far, not far. That's why I've been planting because I don't want I don't want this to be the thing where we're like way off. This fucking spider, listen, spider bro, fucking up my my planting shit. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm trying to get caught up down here on the on the planting portion of it all, so that and I'm close. This creeper just blew up and ruined a. A section though, and it pisses me off. Oops. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know what we were talking about before. You got me talking about crazy dude. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. <laughs> uh, it might. Who knows? Probably not. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, you were being autistic. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, my autism got to me again. <laughs> um. And it's, it's so bad because it's it's one of those things that's hard to even talk about and joke about because somebody's going to get offended at the fact that I'm joking about this guy calling me autistic. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing about um, autism is that most high-functioning autistic people you can't – you couldn't even tell anyways. Um, so like the fact that some guy thinks he can diagnose you over one little thing. I mean, shit, how many, we, we have 700 some odd episodes of mind crack in general. Um, and this one thing that was the tipping point. Now suddenly you're on some spectrum. Yeah, he's he, decided. He went and wrote up a whole long thing about why it was. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Whatever. That's what I say, too. So what happened to your voice? If you, you had the... I got better. This is what happens when you get better. <laughs> so they do generate did, you, did, you, get did you go to, like, a witch doctor and she gave you some wig water? Yeah. I just, well, I, that was part of the, the healing process was drink some wig water. <laughs> oh, God. Can I not count these stupid blocks? One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven. So, like, the blocks blend together so much. <laughs> are you? What are you on? I'm trying to like. <laughs> dig, I'm trying mean? to dig the the template for what we need to go down still. Yeah. Well, it's if you go like, on either side, it should be easy to tell. It's what? If you go on either side, it should be easy to tell because it's already been laid out. Where where's it been laid out at? On the wall, like on one side, there's the whole farm all the way down to the bottom. So you oh, can see yeah, where you you're right. Down. I forgot about but, that. I started, I started at the wrong end. I was starting over. I was basically doing the same work again. I forgot we did that <laughs> way over here. But then Ryuski also did it on the other side in terms of the, the blue going down. Oh, I didn't realize that they staggered the wall like that. Yeah, they went all the way down uh, with the wall, too. Wow, look, lava. That was interesting. <laughs> Could have hurt a lot. God, these slimes. I wonder if do small slimes spawn on their own or do they only spawn big? No, that they they spawn on their own. Really? In that case, we might have a problem. Why? Cuz we do every step up, we have that one half slab that's at a spawn spawnable place. Oh, uh well, that means so we could anything see. theoretically spawn there, right? No, because there's enough light, but slime seems to ignore light level. So, yeah, we'll have to see what happens once it's all planted and whatnot. It's weird that we... Because we left some of these dark spots under the farm, so there's so many spots where you're just walking through here and there's uh, mobs underneath. Kind of trips me up. Like, oh wait, I'm about to get attacked. They're underneath me. Um, we need to figure out what we're gonna do with all of the resources we've gathered from this dip dig. Um, prank. The biggest prank ever. <laughs> Who the hell do we prank? I don't know. We could encase Packrat's mansion in cobblestone. We could. The problem we, with that. We have it enough. Was, it would, it would take probably a few episodes. And I think they tend to stream the same time we record. So, uh... Are they always at his mansion? They gotta be getting bored over there, right? You can't be Susie Home nah, forever. That's all he does. That's all he does. He did a month, 30 days straight of ma ma room building in the mansion. That's all he did. I mean, who would do one project for that right, long? Right, what kind of Stay in the idiot. same area doing the same <laughs> boring thing. For, I mean, more than one day, like, their viewer, his viewers have to be just bored out of their mind. Bored and offended, I'm sure. Like, yeah, just, probably. he must offend them left and right to be able to <laughs> pull off something like that. I did hear um, people keep talking about the fact that apparently Vex has a new map. He does. 
I'm just saying, people keep asking me in the comments if that's what we're doing next, and I said I didn't even mm -hmm. know they had a new map. Yeah, yeah, he does have a new one. Um, it's called Isolation. Is it? But uh, is it a, a super hostile? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's same, same old, same old format, same old thing, basically. I mean, he used to same crank old, those old. things out, and I always been. Yeah, years. yeah. He started doing the super hostile online thing and kind of stopped doing the other, basically. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a little while since he's done one of those. I got a lot of rows still to do. Jeez, I didn't realize how many rows I had to do. I felt like I'd done so many rows, Jeff. <laughs> I feel like I've done so much digging. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, in that regard, I guess we should be done for the day. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next episode when I'm sure my voice will sound ten times better. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.